Hey guys, Tyrup here, bringing you a 2 2 today. We are on Campbell's Convoy. Playing today, supporting on the left, we've got cra Crazy Maze, I guess, 217, with the US forces going for Airborne. Wallow 14, with uh, Brits unselected, Gino with Africa Corps at armored support, and Iron Sarge. Breakthrough with Wehrmacht. This is a Patreon backer submitted game in terms of rankings here. Crazy is in the 90s. Wallow is 700, but he's, he's around 200 in ones. With, uh, Brits. Gino is 120 and Iron Sarge is 200. Bit of a rankings itch towards the axis. I think uh, for Wallow, he just hasn't played that many games yet to get his hero up. Alright, we've got the uh, crud coming out. In fact, that's a double crud strategy. One Panzer Green, one Panzer Pyre. Appearing it out the back there. I'm bullying the scout around a bit. Like the tree, actually. It looks like they were both reloading at that timing, so he's not going to get squad wiped. Holding his position with the machine gun, but a bit of a Panzer Pyre flank doesn't really go for kill on that. A really grenade tick from the rifleman looking to chase down this crowd and polish it off. Panzer Pyre is staying on the rear of the MG. Meanwhile, the rifleman not chasing, though. I think that's going to get away. That's a sloppy move there from Crazy. Defend our victory point. We're losing it. Pose out positioning this constantly. We've actually got a machine gun down here from Iron Sarge. A close call on the Royal Engineers. Crack coming back in. Just got enough munis for us near now, but probably wouldn't suggest it. Oof! Went for the steal on the machine gun. Cost him his Panzer Pyo, but that's probably a fine trade. Meanwhile, it's a bit of an awkward retreat. But the crud doesn't commit for the kill. Make it quick and make it loud. I think I'd probably be content with trading my crud away for a rifle squad at this stage. Oh, that's a late retreat. I'd be lucky to escape with that. And... He is lucky. <laughs> There's got to be like zero HP. I'll try and see if I can catch exactly what health he is when he gets back there. The enemy is stealing our munitions point. Four. I don't know what the uh, MP40s do in terms of damage. I would guess four. I think. Uh, the lowest damage is maybe the US Forces Engineers that do 3 damage per bullet with their SMGs. I'd imagine the MP40s maybe here. Uh, at 4 damage. Is that repaired up now? Okay. Got the stolen uh, MG. A bit of damage in there from the Flamer. Oh, why did he retreat into their grenade assault? Lost him a squad. If he just continued running forward to try to attack, might have got the squad wipe. Okay, so the Wallow is struggling a bit. Still hasn't locked into a battle group yet. Okay, we've got superior fire drills now. Gino. Inside, of course, breakthrough. Seeing those MP40s. You need my services? Only one kill on the sniper so far. After a bit of a slow start, but he's got some uh, dominant territory control right now. Enemy forces are converging at a fuel point. Put down the metal, boys. Mugs in a grenade. Tries to dodge, but with the suppression there, not working out too well. 
The V1 ability though from the uh, Krus. Contributing. Helping out against that rifle squad. Okay, the Crud's now going to flank this machine gun. Does have enough for a snare, and if he does it on this Crud, it's probably going to go down, but it's suppressed. It's got coming in from the side on the stolen machine gun. Oh, it's going to survive. I think he hit retreats in time to get the defensive bonus, so he didn't uh, take the full force of that grenade. This has been no, probably the weapon itself soaks some of the damage, a third of the damage roughly, so. We must act. Okay, Assault Grenadier calling from Gino. This often gets you in some trouble with Africa Corps. Okay, this one out. This one's just about to complete its repairs. Fighting this rifleman. Here comes the Assault Greens. Decently long path to chase down. See how much damage they can do. A little bit slow continuing the chase though. He's got out of optimal range for the assault greens, so gives up the chase. Just capping up there and reconnecting everything. Now at the moment in a good position. We've got a Humber out from Walla. Sniper got forced away. Got the bars from the rifleman. Drops the assault grenadiers in here. Should be a clean win for them at this range. Get the bar rifling. Focusing on knocking out the rear armor 250. Our territory is cut off from supply. Reconnect it. I'm peppering away here. A victory point is under Let's have some AT rifles down here as well, just in case. Go for for company and is gonna be going for the Jaegers. Damage from the flamer there though, that's in the lion's share of work. Great assault in. You good to dodge. Energy from one side, pour it on and from the other. A lot of suppression in there. So the smoke nade working out nicely, machine gun having to reposition. Scouts overstaying the welcome a bit, but maybe the suppression can save them. Yep. Close call though. That was a sniper still only a one kill. Not very effective with it so far. First eight right hit in the field now. Oh boy. This is some of the worst sniper play. If he just A moved it forwards there, he would have stopped further away, maybe he would have survived. Very bad handling of that sniper. Right coming in from the north here. AT gun. Power dropped in, I think. Uh, popped a shot off there. Yep, skipping past motor pool looks like. Humber coming in, but the A-Rod's right here. Can help fight back. He pops up the uh, raiding flare, I think it's called. The Humber. Mark area, okay. Which I believe gives a received accuracy penalty. Maybe received damage. I knew this. If we could look up the stats, then maybe I could <laughs> tell you what the exactly that does, but we can't. It's it all hidden. In the state trees. So he's going to close the distances. His teammate still doesn't have healing, so no healing on the Axis side. It's making things a bit awkward. Maybe part of the reason why that sniper went down so fast. Maybe we managed to heal it up. A squeeze around the side here, Iron Sarge. Again from multiple angles, machine gun repositioning, but the Jaeger's coming from the other side. It's not like he's got any uh, tricks going though. He's put up a muni cache. The Humber's torturing him. No response. 
There's some bit of smoke action though, working out nicely. Oh, I didn't notice this. M1919 on the ground. Steal that away. He's got double AT guns actually. We have reserves. Contractor in now for Gino. Turning over two machine guns is very punishing. Bar rifle and try and chase down the crowd, but I'm kite it. For a bit of a chase here. Trick missing on the Humber. Just about vet two on that now. Snare's gone off. Rear armor exposed on the Humber, so it's actually taking quite a lot of damage from the bar rifleman. Bars just have some, oh, just OMGs in general in this game is so much penetration. Damn it! Territory sector claimed Very effective by the against enemy. light vehicles, even ones that are reasonably well armored. Okay, wow, he got a foul stuff from that range. I did not think he was going to be successful there. And then the Shrek polishes it off. Nicely done there by Iron Sarge. Okay, it looks like Wallow going... Some Gurkhas, so it does of course meet Indian artillery. He's gone straight down the side. The volunteer infantry... Tick. Cheap reinforcements the rest of the game. Gonna be a close call. No, the assault. I mean, uh, just regular engineers actually do not chase. It's away. Recontractor pushing up here. The cruise the AT gun. This is where he needs to pour it on him. It's on cooldown though. No, maybe not. He's just got his teammates engineers coming in to assist. Should be able to hold on to that AT gun. That's important. Bit of a late retreat, actually. It's, it's, yeah, it's going to be a squad wipe. I was pushing out with this machine gun. Looks like maybe a lost vision resetting up now. Smoke from the recon tractor, but geez, in a bit of trouble coming in. Not, not second machine gun, layering them up there. Again, the grenade not having the impact it should. Fortunate with how the models started that retreat though as well. They kind of ran like forwards instead of backwards into the grenade. Okay, fresh 250. With another assault green. Try to chase down, looking for the squad by but luckily one of those AT gun shots missing on the 250, so it does survive. Go a quick look, see if Gino's. Points remaining. Say He's got the veteran squad leaders. Remaining. Nothing else so far on the side grades. We're tracking them on 300 points. Good shot in there. It's Gino's mark. You have five command points available. A martyr now as well for a bit of anti-tank backup. Good timing for it as well because Crusader on the field now for Walla. And uh, MG in some trouble. Looks like it's going to be stolen by Crazy. Some uh, Stoss trooping out for Iron Sarge. He does have Panzer Company indeed. Got no Panzer IV out now as well. Why not damage onto that Crusader, the double Shreks? AT guns here. Oh, he hits a mine. Did you see that? The gun resets position because one of the crew members dies. Probably some funky stuff going on with team weapons in this game. Here comes the assault green half track. Right coming in from the north as well. 
jams the capture. XSR a little bit low on victory points at this stage. So the 250 is going to be able to crawl its way out of there. Scout up and not, not up to anything. So it leads in. Decent connection, but no squad wipes. Again, a bit of a lucky break there for Gino. He would have survived it anyway. Okay, so he's got the emergency repair kits now. Just giving him the health boost. And the uh, eight round heading up to the north. No, it's looping around. Doing some donuts in front of the AT gun. Unfortunate timing for it to come in there, but did know the AT gun's position. It hasn't really moved at all. Just scouted out maybe twice. Self to blame for that one. Wow, some really good hits from the Crusader. Quick decrew on that machine gun. Now the recon tractor's in some trouble next. Without the uh, Marta, he doesn't have an answer to this. Does that have any AT rifles or anything? Come some Shrek's gonna chase away that Crusader. T rifles have been chipping away at the Panzer IV down here. Getting a little bit lower. No urgency from the Allies to steal back these machine guns, though. I think that's a mistake. Oh boy, that could be trouble. I think he lost vision on it there. Victory point now under enemy control. vehicles takes it off now. Phosphorus, of course, only does the initial burst damage, not the damage over time. Quite a lot weaker. Okay, there we go. It hits the mine in the north from Gino. We've lost control of the sector. Oh, does manage to chase down for the squad white. Shimmer's gonna roll up here to try and deal with the eight rat. Got a shot off. Gotta be careful he could get intercepted with the snare. A lot of damage on those riflemen though as they try to get neutralized. She's still rolling up the hill. And Gino needs to back away this way. He was fast on the snare. That could have been a dead 8 rad. The follow-up shot from the Sherman. He gets away with it. Matilda now from Wallen. This machine gun's still up for grabs down here. We managed to squeeze in a second Gurkha. We'll have a look at Gino's composition. He's got a rebuilt Marta. This is where you can start to really feel the manpower squeezes Africa Corps. Checking for further upgrades. And Sarge. Okay, he's pushed out a second Panzer IV now. Oh wow, he went for the SMGs on these Gurkhas. You don't see those too often. Definitely the less popular of the two upgrades by a lot. AMG decrews the AT gun down here. Until it actually gets quite low to the Shreks. They have pretty good penetration, especially if they're getting close. Looks like he's tempted to come in here with the Panzer IVs. In fact, yep, yeah, both of them rolling up. The AT gun has been decrewed. It's a really lucky rear armor hit from the front. But deciding to back away now. He's going to block himself here. Oh, it doesn't matter too much. But a phase through saving the day. Not the sharpest. Oh, he jumps on the AT gun and gets the kill on the P4. Martyrs coming down from the north though, the Crusader hanging on, 47 HP. Infantry is going to survive, but what is this Panzer IV doing? He gets stuck on the rocks. The T-Gun though is packed up. Oh, he's got 
gonna survive. He's very lucky to do so. That was some rough Panzer IV handling. A bit unfortunate that they didn't manage to knock out any of those Allied tanks either. Good thinking by Crazy to jump back on the AT gun. It made a huge difference in that fight. Our line is collapsing. Enemy taking our points. Look, he hasn't selected down the side of the tree. New command points for it. Could be up 5.5 was the option for Waller. Squad wipe there. Holding his ground here. Maybe a little bit of a bait with the machine gun because the Sherman rolls up behind this. I don't think we've got any mines to save the day this time. Got the double martyrs. They're coming up the hill, but they get scouted by the scout. Taking quite a lot of damage from the AT guns on their way up there. But he decides to back away here with the Sherman. I think I would have stuck in there. You can see that that martyr is one shot. Could have just came through, picked that one off, and then backed away. With the AT guns nearby, would have been quite safe. AT gun's gonna line up here on the crowd, but it misses both shots. Command tank now from Gino. Get the second Matilda in the build for Wallow. We have the upper hand, keep pushing! Second Sherman on the field now for crazy. Another engineer. I wonder what the uh, vision is like in Crud now. Our strategic point is being neutralized by the enemy. Looks like he's got a lot of sight. So Our has the detection, but the that has been nerfed quite severely in terms of range. Because trying to fire on the move here, they're getting chopped up. They need to stay stationary if they want to be able to fight back there. Chased away. Ooh, a Shrek connection that's very rare these days. Almost never see it. We'll look at the munis. 100 there, Wallow 20. Gino? Oh, he's, he's loaded up. Could be a Stuka anti tank loiter. Coming in shortly, he doesn't quite have the uh, command points for it, but not too far away. And Sarge also with a comfortable amount of munitions. This is where things can start to get a little bit ugly. Two Matildas down here can chase away the Shrieks before they can really get the job done against the Matildas. Too much bleed, especially if you're not playing uh, with Luftwaffe to reduce the bleed. Oh, we missed the shot there. Wouldn't have been the kill, though. Getting 40 health off. Quite a few mines down from Gino in the meantime, though. Making use of that munitions. Commander, we've lost a sector. Order appearing up in the north there. Eight rod doing a lot of damage here. T guns rolling up. It looks like 76 more up gun on the Sherman. Smoke out from the recontractor though, helping the eight rod survive. And the artillery. We'll see back the AT gun as well. That's almost good enough for us. Get to it. The enemy is moving on our strategic point. Okay, Crusader repaired up. Chases away the crowd, but they're still alive. You got both of them, or did one of them end up falling? Like one crowd did go down, but the other one is still useful. Victory points have evened up a lot. X is now only down by a bit under a hundred. Get down, get down. 
flank here from the Panzer Greens. Reports of enemy movement near our victory point. Okay, bit of a move here from the command tank and the Agrod. A lot of support weapons now for Crazy. Might need a walking Stuka to help deal with this. I know he's got the recon tractor. Some smoke. Going our way. Keep going. Okay, the artillery from the recontractor getting some job getting the job done. That can be pretty hard to dodge. Comes down very fast. Okay, there we go. That's the power spike, the axis we're looking for. The tigers on the field now. That thing can smash through the Matildas. Matilda heavy tank! It's like he's Going for another crusader to finish things off. That'll pretty much bring him to his pocket limit. Victory point to enemy action. He has one engineer though for four tanks. I do not envision this going terribly well for Wallow. Might have to even like, purposefully trade out one of his tanks, go for an aggressive maneuver. Otherwise it's going to be out for repairs the entire match. Station, ready from the side with the AT rifles against the Tiger, that's a nasty shot. Out of retreat path as well, could be a squad wipe here. Squad Indeed it is. Tilda coming in from the side, these guys need to come in on the flank, but they're kind of zoned out by the Shreks at the moment. There he goes, he's just trying to disengage with everything here. Problem is Matilda's not very fast, the Tiger can kind of chase it down. He's got Vet 1 on that Tiger immediately, basically. Very quick to Vet. Okay, Sherman. It's the mine. Matilda tank Matilda's down. there. E4 the command tank, gotta provide vision. In fact, he's popped his uh, speed boost from the uh, battle group. It's carpet bombing coming in. Gino need to run past that to safety. That's so just fine. Okay, P4, gotta be careful. Well, there's one Matilda. Crusader looking to come around the rear. But that Tiger's taking no prisoners. Crazy from the side, but still bouncing. Tiger still got pretty good side armor. Gets something like a Crusader. You'll be lucky to escape with this one. Crusader's pretty fast. Victory point is in enemy hands. He's gonna get away with it. Meanwhile, it looks like a bar squad has gone down in the north. You know, he's starting to get a critical mass. Look at this, he's got <laughs> such a long line of armor at the moment. Yeah, from pop cap limit on Wallow down to 62 so quickly. Air burst out the back, nearly knocks out the Stoss. It's coming in here with... Gurkhas, maybe there was a wipe opportunity. Now he realizes, retreating that unit. P4 is going to be far enough back to survive. Are ready for construction. Okay, 17 pounder side tech, going to be the answer to the Tiger. We have 300 points. Confirm. AT gun from Crazy, decrewed up here. Close. Uh, he's picked up a second aid right actually, by the way, Gino. After the nerfs, they're still solid. Looking for a squad wipe there, smoking out, saving himself from the AT gun. Not entirely sure what the command tank's aura does. Enemy activity near our munitions point. I haven't tested it that extensively. Just in general, I haven't been that impressed with the command tank. 
But if you've got this much armor, can I suppose make sector. more sense? Hard to get that and uh, kind of set up in a 1v1 though. Smoke out to cover from the AT gun. Flares out from the Pathfinders, I'm guessing. Command tank now dropping some smoke as well. We're restocked and ready to drop. Comes another martyr. Did manage to recover that AT gun. Okay, he's bringing the six pound up now. Tiger's already vet two. This thing can vet up very quickly. It's just so much damage. Kind of forced into the corner, but the Axis holding on to two victory points at this stage. comes another 8 rod from Gino. Okay, runs right into the middle and there's actually a third anti-tank gun up here. I didn't notice that. Let's pop the speed boost now, trying to get something going. The die bomb decrease two AT guns. Oh, Tiger's coming down here. Where is... 17 pounders down in the bottom corner. Nowhere near the action. And meanwhile his teammate's getting slammed. Bit of a two-on-one. Texas tank's coming. Whoa! Would you... Do you see how fast that crowd was? That was comical. Victory point belongs to the enemy. Oh, hits a mine. Sherman should be able to finish the job without a line of martyrs rolling up. Lantek's coming down here. Oh, misses the kill shot. Doesn't have any AT guns and now kind of backing in the wrong direction. He doesn't know. The martyrs coming up from this side. They miss though. Sherman's still alive. Oh, they don't miss again. Actually getting the job done. Oh, meanwhile... Crusader has fallen down this bottom. Keeps running these Gurkhas right into close range. 17 pounder not facing the right direction here. Spins around now, might be too late. Kind of lost his infantry screen now also. Trying to go for an attack round there I think, missing but... Desperate times. Okay, connects there. Rolling up with the stars. They could pop their vet one though. With the machine gun there. They do pop the vet one. Mine goes off, only drops one model. Looks like he's gonna be able to hold the line though. He's gonna load up, tow himself out of there. 60 for Wallow. 30 now for crazy. He lost everything. That dive bomb coming in from the side. He's really down in the dumps. Not able to kill that 8 rod either. Seems to still come very difficult to beat. Dive bomb kind of catches the AT gun as it's getting power dropped in. I think that's going to lead it to be decrewed. It's, it's properly bugged from that. I wonder if this actually happened on game or if this is a replay bug, but that is well bugged. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on there, but it doesn't look like he can shoot at it. Seems to be... Okay, there it goes finally. Still got the parachute there. Territory 
Okay, well timed dive bomb. Knocked out that AT gun before it hit the ground even. And he's just got so much armor now. Really a critical mass. I think the allies needed to maybe get some teamwork going. Basically zero coordination between the, the two of them. And the Axis briefly hit that two on one in the center. Getting too crazy, getting completely overwhelmed. That drops in another AT gun, of course, with such a small army. Quite fast manpower recovery. Only 75 points left for us. Here we go. Uh, the X is now looking to we set up the triple cap. Won't be long. It'll be lasting after that. Moves the 17 pounder a little bit closer, but it looks like maybe the Axis tanks are going to come back in for another two on one. Even if they lose control of this victory points, it doesn't really matter too much. I'll just hold the middle in the north. Smoke plane in actually, looking to come in from the side. There is a mine here. Slows one of them down. Clears off his own cover with that attack ground attempts. Shot on, like there it goes. Oh, he never went grenade tech. And then triple tanks just knock out that 17 pounder immediately. Axis do lose control of the center and the south, though. A big roll on with these tanks. Shuman and a T-Gun coming down to assist his teammate. Good work Lost there from Crazy. Pops the blitz. Yeah, that is a very fast kill on the Sherman. A T-Gun holding on for a little bit longer, man. Just to knock out one. Before going down and then... Turbo speed, eight rods just swarming in from every angle. He's got five of them. Not much they can uh, do against this, the allies. We're losing a munition point. Such a big disadvantage at this stage. Oh, that turbo speed ability. Unbroken. The side tick for it as well, I imagine. Wouldn't be too bad if you take engine crits. Thing is, uh, it's tough. There we go. Almost base inspection territory here, the Allies. Almost right the way back. Triple cap. I'm going to polish them off quickly. In fact, they're going to uh, leave the game. And there we go. There's a noisy truck. Well, there, there we go. I think, yeah, a lack of coordination, you know, neither of them teams were arranged teams, but the Axis made a couple little moves and it really got them a hit. The Allies seem to be playing two 1v1s a lot more. Crazy, maybe a little bit reckless with his team weapons. They constantly seem to be getting decrewed in compromised positions right from like the earliest stages of the game when he turned over those two machine guns. But ultimately, yeah, the 2 on one sunk him. You know, he's pretty close to his pop cap limit. Then the die bomb decrewing two of his AT guns, the Tiger coming in to polish them off from the other side. He just got swarmed in. A couple unlucky shots, not able to knock out the eight rods in return, and that's pretty much GG from there. As for uh, Wallow, yeah, the uh, 17 pounder, a late response. Need to play more defensively once the Tiger arrived to limit the amount of damage it did before he could field a response. He just kind of tried to fight with what he had. The moves were not that good and it caused him to lose, you know, 40 population to the Tiger. And uh, yeah, hard to build back from there. But, you know, solid play from the Axis. Yeah, managed to overcome there, and nice to see, you know, something a little bit different here. Command tank with mass, eight rods, and Mardis. Haven't really seen that before. 
double crud. Just the, do you guys know if the crud gets their machine gun bonus from that battle group? I'm, I haven't tested it personally. Hey, they did all right, the cruds. Assisted by the fact that uh, there's no uh, 4x4, no dingo. But yeah, worked out okay. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like your game, cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you off the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck. Oh, wow, I didn't even notice it, but the in-game scene, I think, is on that map. That's fitting. <laughs>